Well, if it isn't another Wednesday and another update for me, hello, I'm stuck in traffic and I figured I want to talk to you about a couple of things real quick. Uh, first of all, Megan's doing great, good for her. We're, we're both trying to change our lives. And, and uh, on that, I want to talk a little bit about the whole weight loss thing. Um, a buddy of mine, Mark Tormeo, who showed me initially the 4-Hour Body Diet, the Tim Ferriss Diet, <sighs> excuse me, um, heard that I was changing my diet and implored me to reconsider. And what if if Mark's watching this, which I hope he is, hi Mark, I, lovely name, uh, the reason why I changed my diet wasn't because I couldn't deal with not having fruit. It was It was fine. And now being back on that, I'm not going overboard. I haven't just like lived on fruit. It's, it's slowly creeping its way in and staying to a place where I think it should be. Um, one of the main reasons that attracted me to, uh, the diet was giving up fruit because, uh, I would drink fruit juices over water. And now I've, as of right now, I'm, I've figured out somewhat of a good system where I, I have a, a mixed fruit and vegetable juice in the morning and then the rest of the day I have water and then I have wine at night. And um, in terms of any other fruit eating, if it makes its way onto my plate, I'll eat it. I, I haven't sought it out like today. I had uh, chicken pineapple salad with raisins and nuts with honey mustard dressing. It, it was fine as far as I know. So another reason why I brought fruit back in is because I didn't have any energy. And Ferris even talks about it in the book about the diet that uh, some people give up because it doesn't give them energy. And I hated not having the, not, not being able to get up and go exercise. I would come in, I would stay in and I would drink wine and I would just be on the computer or something. But now I'm, le I'm legit exercising every day. You know, I'm, I'm going to try, like, I've got a lot of videos to, to do today. I'm, I'm putting this one out. I have to make five points of view to go out today. And then I'm making a video for Friday. So insanity is going to keep getting put off, but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm running. Like last night I did a bunch of different types of, uh, calisthenics and cardio. The night before I went for a run, walk, jog, run. And I'm probably, I'm going to do the same tonight while, uh, stuff's rendering or exporting. And, uh, I, I'm at a place where I want to do it. It's not like, oh, I gotta exercise. It's time to run, I need to run, I have to keep doing this. And I don't know if that's necessarily the fruit helping, but it's, it's, I'm not, I'm not running on empty, you know? And uh, another thing about the diet, I wanted to, I was gonna talk about this in a main weight loss video, but I wanted to talk about it just as soon as possible. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of Queen lately, especially the Proto Men Queen album, which I've mentioned before. But um, I noticed a difference in um, like activity in myself. There, a couple of my favorite songs for a while. Well, I mean, Queen's great. Let's get let's get it straight. Huh. Um, but a couple of my favorite songs were "I Want It All" and "I Want to Break Free." Very very good songs. Very strong emotions from Freddie. And then uh, something changed. My, my new favorite Queen song that I listen to all the time is The Show Must Go On, which it, it wasn't one of their biggest hits, like one of the ones at least that my generation doesn't hear as often. But I highly suggest to look up The Show Must Go On. Queen has a Vivo page or an official page. Look it up. And um, the passion in Freddie's voice, the time it was released as well as what Freddie was going through when it came out and just the implication of going from want to must in my brain the show must go on no matter what it's it's kind of a really good analogy for this last leg of the weight loss which is we're we're a month in we're a month out it's going to happen we have that final weigh in that last tuesday that final weigh in is happening the show has to happen where am i going to be and the the song helps me get off my ass and help me think I need to I need to do I need to do something I need to get up and I need to get out and I need to run I need to exercise I need to do something and um, I'm I'm actually I'm listening to it right now 
so uh, the queen version or the proto men version because Panther, oh my God, Panther! Uh, if Freddie Mercury had a kid in America in Tennessee, it would be Raul Panther, the lead singer of the proto men. Holy shit! Um, but yeah, I just want to talk about, about a couple of those things. Uh, just quickly. Hello to the new subscribers. I, I appreciate you coming over here. I'm going to have other content besides just the uh, the Megan review, the, the competition videos, uh, especially in these coming weeks. If you want to play Minecraft with me, I'm I'm on Xbox Live. I'm Soapbox Mark D. If you want to play anything with me on Soapbox on uh, Xbox, I don't have uh, too many games, but it's uh, it's slowly growing. Phrasing. But um, Soapbox Mark D on Xbox Live, the underscore Idget on PSN, Soapbox Mark on Steam, video games, if I ever had a chance to play them. Um, traffic kind of sucks, but I need to start changing lanes. So, um, headbutt!